So today we'll be discussing a previous year CSR question which is based on the proteolytic cleavage sites. So the question is consider the structureless oligopeptide. This is the structureless oligopeptide. The number of bonds that will be cleaved by trypsin and chymotrypsin treatment separately are and the options were these four. Now previously I had done a video on various enzymes and their cleavage points. I suggest you watch that video beforehand. But if you haven't watched that video, I'll be using a small tabular column that is this, which has enzymes and their cleavage points, which is necessary for this question to be answered. So trypsin cleaves at K and R at C terminal. K stands for lysine, R stands for arginine. And chymotrypsin cleaves phenylalanine, W that is tryptophan, Y that is tyrosine at C terminal or the C side. And these cleavages should not be followed by proline. That is, if this K has proline next to it then trypsin cannot act or trypsin cannot cleave that bond. Same way if any of these three amino acids has proline next to it then chymotrypsin cannot act or cannot cleave that bond. So when I say C terminal and N terminal means N terminal is the left hand side of a particular amino acid and C terminal is the right hand side of a particular amino acid. So if I write F, D and S, so this is the N terminal of F and this is the C terminal of F. In same way, this is the N terminal for D threonine and this is the C terminal for threonine and same way this is the N terminal for serine and C terminal for serine. Here see this is an example of an oligopeptide. Now if you see at this oligopeptide it's made up of few amino acids. Always its left hand side is the N terminal and the right hand side is the C terminal. N terminal means amino terminal. This end has the amino group and this end, the C terminal has the carboxyl group. In the same way, the way that I have explained before, blue arrows represents the N terminal of these particular amino acids and the red arrow represents the C terminal of these particular amino acids. Okay, so if I say that uh, the strip C will cleave at C terminal means it will act in this side and cleave this bond. Okay, it will not cleave this bond. Okay. It will not cleave this bond which is present prior to the K. It will cleave the bond which is present after the K. Now having known those basics, let us cleave our oligopeptide with trypsin. Now I suggest whenever you are writing an amino acid in the left hand side write N and in the right hand side at the right hand end of the amino acid represent it as C so that you will get a uh, you will never have a confusion like which is the C terminal and which is the N terminal so now cleaving this is a tabular column that you have to remember now cleaving this with trypsin for trypsin the cleavage site is K and R at C C side. So let us scan our oligopeptide for K. 
so there is one k now is there any other k left no there is not now this trypsin will cleave at this bone and now there is a R you might think that this trypsin will also act on this bone but no because cleavage of that bone will produce a free R right there will be a free R free R is a single amino acid it's a monomer and these two are endopeptidases these will never cleave at the ends or cleave at certain points where only a single monomer or a single amino acid is produced they will always cleave in between the sequences so minimum a dipeptide has to be formed or a peptide which has two amino acids that is nothing but a dipeptide now let's digest it you will get these two sequences now uh, one more thing see even this is also an R but cleavage is not possible here because if this bond cannot be cleaved at the C end it will not even form an amino acid there now after cleavage these two fragments are formed now note that only one bond is cleaved and two fragments are produced bonds cleaved one fragment produced two bonds that are cleaved are 1 and fragments that are produced are 2 now let's cleave our amino acid sequence that is the oligopeptide with chymotrypsin chymotrypsin acts on F, W, Y at the C side so let's scan our oligopeptide for F Okay, so there is one F, but cleavage of this bond is not possible because if if this bond is cleaved, a free R is produced, a free amino acid, and these are endopeptidases. They will never cleave at the end. Okay, so that bond cannot be cleaved. Now let us scan for W. There is one W. Now let us scan for Y. There is one Y. So the cleavage occurs at this site and at this site, leading to the following fragments. There are three fragments produced. So note that there are three fragments and two bonds cleaved right by chymotrypsin now let us go back to our question the question is asking the number of bonds that will be cleaved by trypsin and chymotrypsin treatment then they are not asking about the fragments that are produced so the bonds cleaved by trypsin was one and by chymotrypsin was two so that's all for now thanks for watching and if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to comment please comment below and if you are interested in more such videos then subscribe